One of the pieces that get a lot of feedback every time we take it out um, is the little Ruger pocket rifle that we made. Um, it's typically not the feature in whatever we're doing, but we use it as a, as a test platform to test other things. But people seem to really like the small size. It's a neat, compact, short-barreled rifle. Uh, it uses a Ruger Charger barrel. It's threaded half 28, and it makes a really neat, small, convenient package, whether it be for packing or hiking or anything like that. Uh, and we've gone out of our way to try to find other accessories that go with it. We, we've got the stock as a no-brainer that folds up to allow you know it to be even smaller. We found a nice Hawk pistol sight that works absolutely perfect. Wouldn't it be cool if we actually had a pocket size sound suppressor to add to it? Yeah, you knew where this was going. We do. The Bowers Group Biddy. How awesome is this thing? What a perfect addition to this package, the Bitty, B-I-T-T-Y by Bowers Group. Um, it's tiny. It, it, uh, it just fits this absolutely perfect. It's 2.8 inches in length, but don't let the small size fool you. It's grade 9 titanium. Uh, this thing will stand up to full auto 22 fire all day long. And the other calibers it's rated for are 17 HMR, 17 WSM, 22 Magnum, even 5.7. Uh, 5.7, that's awesome. I can't wait to try this on the P90. They also rate it for 22 Hornet. So uh, it's a lot of performance in a really small package. Now while small suppressors, um, well, not, not quite this small. This is really small across the board, but there have been small suppressors around before, but they typically always needed to be used with wipes or a suppressor coolant or some type of lubricant. And um, this one, this one doesn't use any. It's just a regular standard dry uh, user serviceable sound suppressor and uh, it's good old I guess we'll have to chalk it up to voodoo and magic because it works well and it doesn't need any outside forces now this thing works exceptionally well to suppress the sound to keep it away from from the shooters ear to get below well below the threshold of damage below the threshold of pain and uh, and it's comfortable and it's fun to shoot now you know just like the gearheads know that there's no replacement for displacement bigger motor, more power, with a sound suppressor, uh, volume. Volume is, is a massive factor in what makes them so quiet. And uh, we just don't have the volume, but it's still really quiet. So here's what I want to do. Uh, these little microphones, as we mentioned several times in the past, don't translate sound very well, but they can be somewhat comparative. So I'm going to fire uh, a few rounds with no suppressor, I'm going to fire a few rounds with the Bitty immediately afterwards, and then I'll fire a few rounds with the Bowers USS suppressor. That's a, that's a standard length, really rugged uh, uh, sound suppressor. So you have something that's as close to a direct comparison as we can give you on the internet. I've got a bunch of different types of 22 long rifle ammo with me. I just grabbed a, a whole bunch of boxes and, and threw it in the vehicle, and uh, some of it's great to run through suppressors, some not so great to run through suppressors, but I think uh, between them all, some of it will be familiar. So I'm not going to shoot into any of the steel targets. The noise you're going to hear downrange is, is the bullet just going through the chloroplast, the mill felt, and into the sand, and uh, that should be about as quiet as I can get here. You'll notice we're kind of shooting into a tunnel uh, of trees. It's eastern white pine and there's a canopy above it, so it's not really the quietest place to test a suppressor, but again, we're just looking uh, to, to compare these sounds with one another. Unsuppressed, suppressed with the Biddy, and then suppressed with the uh, USS. Federal 40 grain gold medal target. Unsuppressed. Oh sure, I cleaned my rifles. Wolf, 40 grain, unsuppressed.
45 grain South African uh, heavyweight, unsuppressed. Sixty grain Aguila Sniper Subsonic unsuppressed. That's what I'm talking about. So that should give a pretty decent comparison. Huh? Oh, you saw that Piney Mountain Tracer ammo in that first shot? All right, let's use that too. I'm gonna change the camera angle a little bit though so you can enjoy the visual aspect of that stuff as well as the audio pleasure of these Bowers cans. Piney Mountain Green Tracer unsuppressed. those so that's a quick peek at the Bowers Bitty now I think this thing is awesome I love it I mean the packaging itself is ingenious a 22 long rifle ammo box size packaging and it's I mean it's not close it's what it is I mean this is as tiny as can be how cool is that um, and, and the suppressor, I mean, you know, here is the USS, and there's the Biddy. It's crazy how small it is, and, uh, and it's really cool how quiet it is as well. Now, the most time I've spent with one of these uh, so far is on an M&P 1522 with a 16-inch barrel. You throw this on a 16-inch barrel, and it's crazy quiet. Uh, very cool. But even, even with the 10-inch barrel that we're working with uh, on the pocket rifle, um, night and day difference between shooting it unsuppressed and then running it with the bitty. I mean one rings your ears and, and the other one doesn't. Uh, pr pretty big difference. I wish there was some way to translate it better but I'm hoping that that by mashing these clips together so you can hear in rapid succession you know unsuppressed, suppressed with the bitty, suppressed with the USS um, you know some modicum of decibel reduction. I don't know. It's the best that we've got because these cameras only do so good and Again, I mean, we're sharing this information on the internet, um, not in a lab or a classroom. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, new upgrade to my pocket rifle. I think that's awesome. If this thing wasn't so cool, it would live on here in perpetuity. But I've got to try it on all kinds of different things. Uh, but this will absolutely be the, be the primary host. Pocket rifle with a pocket suppressor. If you did, please click like. Share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel both on YouTube and on Full30. And make sure you click notify so you know when we upload a video. And check that notification tab because I've had a lot of people tell me recently they don't get notified anymore when we upload a video. Um, and, and from their track record on uh, social media, I, I believe something's going on behind the scenes. You can visit us on Patreon where we have uh, some live chats and some other neat things that are, that are going on. And, and the, the folks at Patreon are really helping to evolve the Patreon experience in itself as well because I'm brand new to that. So uh, any input is great and I learn a lot from you. Make sure that you visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Feel free to ask any questions and make any comments you like. That's probably the place we're most active. Till next time, have fun and be safe. That was quiet, huh? Evidently it helps if you load the rifle. <laughs> All right, Wolf.